That was so surreal. But he could be talking about photography. He's talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. <gasps> there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of... Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces. Sorry, Max. No more selfies right now. Onward. The first American daguerreotype. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st you century. All about but in your text, look at this crap. How can I show or this to Mr. Jefferson? Online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <sighs> Even her school books are gift-wrapped. I can't believe... Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Even her school books are gift-wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? So cool that we can check these out anytime. The decisive moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith? Good to see Avedon among the masters. Dolly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. 
Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this... purge. I like this panoramic view of Blackwell. Everything looks so green and serene. I like this panoramic view of Blackwell. Everything looks so green and serene. carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Let's talk later, Max. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera.
This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You Welcome always Welcome to the real world. cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special picture trying to... I'm not paying $150 Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant pen. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. American girls, it's sad to imagine a I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. You. American girls, I'd like to be part Ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's burnt. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. By the ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. To all of you. American girls in the movies No one can tell where your heart is American girls like Dolly Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. see inside my locker. Yes, this poster must stop always dead in their tracks. I hate bully jock straps like Logan. He's a Vortex Club member. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Stella is always deep in her nose. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. That's Dana talking to, I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. I love that picture of Mom and Dad. Hello, Jack. 
kiss kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. It looks like she's been gone for months. Call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. I wish October would last forever. Skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. The big foot stop. I should develop some school spirit. Go team. Yay, Halloween. My favorite time of year. She cries sometimes. Talking about her own. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. Rachel Amber. She's so pretty. I hate these posters, so sad. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. How many students ever actually memorize all this shit? I guess we all should these days. Lighthouse again. God, Samuel is such a weirdo, but I kind of like that about him. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stall. Blackwell sure takes its swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go otters. Girls, I'd like I wonder what actually happened to her. Part of the world you. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. The world from the bright side. Yeah. 
there's Juliet from my dorm, yet another Vortex Club disciple. Nerd alert, this poster has Warren written all over it. To all of you, American girls These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. No one can tell where your heart is. American girls like dollies with shiny smiles and plastic bodies. I wish I had. It looks like she's been gone for months. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> now who would bother to write that crap? I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Just relax, stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Good to flow, thanks. This poster must drive people to have sex. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. 
That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Black and white. I did it. Can you give I me actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a the human, human time machine. And white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Hi, freak yeah. out. Not yet. There you go, Wowzer, my old broken camera is new again. Keep it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by the When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. It's real. I can tell. So I can go back in back time. Selfie expression. What if that girl Sorry, isn't dead yet? I resist. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth? I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after I class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again process, and give him the right answer? Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapter. Bowser, my old Max, broken so camera is new again. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. 
It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework. Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, uh, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just dripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. I have to go. Too much happening right now. Sure. By putting yourself out there in the world. Now, no matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. excluded from this process but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everyone. I see you Max Caulfield don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry I'd never let one of photo I'm on top of it I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans Max you're on fire today all the right answers good Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come don't on, put that thing down! He has a gun! I should do something else. People trying to control me! Max, you're, you're going to get hurt. You're more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun I'm away! I'm too scared to get near a psycho. Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. No. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Don't ever tell me what to do. Max, I'm so you're going sick. to get hurt. People trying to control me! You are going to... Ever tell me no, he has a gun. So I should do something else. To control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble. Don't ever tell me. I need a hammer to break I'm it so open. Sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job.
You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? You look a little stressed out. I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does you look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my... I just saw Nathan Prescott. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he hate me? Don't wander around here. Get on outside. Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwood Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. You're fair-minded, Max. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless her soul. But this petition isn't about her. 
Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Native Americans? The tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis and thrived. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. <laughs> Miss Grant sure is dedicated to that petition. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, ma'am. Sure, I always have time for... David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, do David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble... Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework... Absolutely. I don't mind security, but... There's Hayden in his Vortex Club harem. He sure is living the dream. Hey, Hayden. There she is, the retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell, especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. What the hell is the Vortex Club, anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with the Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us, too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy-like. You know. 
So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked the party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. I'm more confused than before. It's such a mystery. Let's talk later, Hayden. That it is, Max. Now, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Oh, that's not nice. Poor little otter. Ew, gross. At least switch to e cigs They sure get a lot of mileage out of otter power. Otter power? I'm so not there. And this is where the otters perform their aquatic magic. I've never seen so many missing persons. I could go for a burger now. There's Justin and his skater posse. They're so cute doing their tricks. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to thrash? Oh, yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh... Jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to thrash? I came to nose slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah, I just can't skate worth shit. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. I'm stoked to see those photos framed and shit. You never really escaped Betty, though. 
I used to be, but I'm into my camera now. I can tell. We need more girls out here. Rachel Amber and her punk friend used to skate with us. Who was Rachel's punk friend? I can't remember her name. She was hot. Tats, blue hair, hardcore. She stopped hanging out with us after Rachel disappeared. <laughs> Ran away. You knew Rachel? She used to chill with us sometimes. But one day she just vanished. I hope she's living the dream somewhere. If anybody hurt her, we'll get a skate posse and take them out with our boards. You ever hang out with Victoria? Fuck that. I'd rather rollerblade than hang out with snobs like her. Let's chill later, Justin. Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. You can watch us destroy these rails. Yo, Justin. Check out the... I came to no slide. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? I'd love to see a no slide. Let's get Trevor all over that action. You never really escaped Betty. <laughs> Not really. Too bad. It's nice to have the females on board, too. Rachel and Amber and her punk friend used to love skating with us. Let's chill later, Justin. Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. I bet the Blackwell founders would shit cats if they saw today's student body walking around like zombies on their phones. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody got their wish. Stella always looks so serious and dedicated. Good for her. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Now that you mention it, he doesn't respond to Victoria's flirting. That means he has good taste. You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. 
Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clip. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. Um, interesting. See you learn something new every day at school. Like I said, you have a lot to learn. Max, see you in class. Brooke actually has a drone? I'm almost sure Warren has the same bag. It looks a bit nerdy, though. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. That looks like a high fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? I love aerial photography. Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. I'm sure this poster has stopped millions of bullies. Posters over posters? Somebody really wants to find Rachel Amber. Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm. Now I have to go back to the dorm. This day never ends. Nope, I don't want to go there.